Democracy. And I think it's important to see that the loan is, uh, we spent roughly about uh, $1,500 during spring and winter. Mm -hmm. So uh, I put 1700 on that. And then the website, I know there's, we've talked in the past about getting our own, which I would like to work toward getting that, but right now I don't have the time to do it. So I'm leaving, leaving the website budget as is. Any questions on child support? Yeah, Brandy, you know, I was thinking, I know that uh, last year with the wage increases, um, trustees did not get an increase in wage last year. I don't even know if you, anybody can tell us last time the trustees had any kind of wage increase. Um, I, would guess, had, I would guess a long like time a ago. Cost yeah. of living or something. Yeah, yeah. and little. thinking, I know Dave, you know, also goes to the Planning Commission meetings. Um, if we could, could possibly consider on doing something there, maybe. Don't you guys have money handy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not in the plans all day. <laughs> I know what you mean, but you do more for splits than I get paid for going to the other meetings, so I don't. Split is. I actually, I'm working with surveyors, I'm working with the assessor, and as of this year, I'm at about a total of 15 or 16 splits this past year. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm getting calls every week or two about different things. And some don't pan out, and some don't continue dealing, but the, you know, the phone calls and the, and, and I, I like doing it. The only thing with, you know, I guess I maybe I need to get a little bit of guidance of, you know, the salary is per year, you know, statutory duties, I right. guess. Correct. Right. Well, if somebody, I guess we can make the difference. Say you were no longer a trustee, then when the next person comes in that doesn't have the expertise that you do and they don't want to touch the land division, so you have to, mm -hmm. you know, there's. Yeah, just thinking on, like I was saying, uh, no wage increase of last year where others did and where I don't know where was the last wage increase or was there ever I was saying it's probably 20 25 years and prior to us okay. that's a guess so just that's my thought I would I would say $15 Culture and recreation. So, anything we've been spending on the trail has been going against ARPA funds. Um, we have budgeted 2061. We just had another little voice come in at first. So 2225 on here. We need to bring in some ARPA. 
the revenue on that. And then the trail grant, then we're at a stage when they start you know, incurring costs. My thought is that we would, and I had talked to the board previously about this, is you know, treat that as a grant that you know, we received it as a pass through from the county. Um, and then we would be passing it on through so that we aren't in a situation where we're having to report any part of those assets and be responsible for maintaining them. So that kind of was, was my thought process. And I did had talked to the auditor a while ago and she said that that was the best approach to keep it as clean and simple as possible. So that's, I would like to get it off the books, um, but it um, does sound like they're making progress with that. I talked to um, village manager a couple weeks ago and um, they did end up making some headway with the railroad uh, as far as trying to be able to get that all worked out where they can run easements over that old bed. So anyway, we'll hopefully have more information on that too. So. And then capital outlays. So the 4,200 on there that was budgeted was for the security system, came in at 4,147. So we were a little under budget on that. And then here's where I guess I kind of want to talk. Um, if we did do an office remodel, it would probably be budgeted as a capital outlay item, which is big ticket items that really need to go on our depreciation schedule in the financial statements. But let's keep going on down. So the total uh, estimated expenditures for this, this roof here is 167 and some change. I brought over that surplus from the previous grouping of, of all of the, um, the tax revenue and the um, mandated services. And then the estimate for the state revenue sharing, which was the 190, right? Yep, the 190 with the discount of 5%. The other revenues of 18.5, and then the grant revenue, um, we would have to, right now that's just sitting on our balance sheet, we would need to bring that 50,000 of revenue um, into uh, the budget to offset the grant expense that we had up above. So total estimated general fund revenue above, or other revenue, 268. So then we're ahead of the game now, <laughs> cumulative. Um, so that's about 101,000. And so keep going, almost done. Our last cost center is contracts. And here's where we spend the money um, of what we have in that being ahead of the game. So drains, uh, we always budget pretty high on this uh, because we don't necessarily know when we could get a big charge. So last year we budgeted 14,000, we only had a $1,600 charge, so we were way over budget there, getting a bit under budget on it. So I proposed 10 grand for that as a safety net. Um, the chloride, so, We budgeted 33,000. We're projected to come in pretty close to that. And then for the next fiscal year, I am budgeting 39,000 because we're then, so on chloride, we had said we were gonna do the two double passes and the one single pass. Well, if you remember, they messed up and they shorted this first one. So if, if they, do like we're planning, which is two double passes, one in July and one in August, then we gotta look for our fiscal year to next May, and we want the double pass to be one of our you know, Memorial Day. So it's, and that's roughly about 12 grand um, for a double pass. So that's, that's why it looks a little higher, the way it fell. Um, and then the roads, so we had spent a lot of money on roads last year. 188,000 was budgeted. Um, must have been a little conservative on that. Uh, we were only at 180. And then this year we've signed contracts after the, um, and this is after the county's matching um, at a, roughly about 113,000. So the total for that cost center is um, just shy of 162. So bring that down. We had a surplus to date of about 101,000 from the previous page. And I'm proposing that we bring in all of the remaining federal ARPA dollars, which is roughly about 44,000. Um, 
and that would put us on the year at an operating deficit um, or loss dip into fund balance, which again, totally fine because we have a massive fund balance that really should be spent now. Um, and the reason I want to bring in that ARCA money is because I would like to just apply it all to the roads and be done with it. Um, and then what projects we would have liked to um, use that for, we use from fund balance. Because again, we're carrying probably too high of a fund balance right now. Are you talking like for improvements? For like the office model and some of those okay. remodel and some of those other um, things that have, we have been brainstormed in okay. the past. Okay. But I just think, you know, like I said, Todd has done all the reporting, um, which I have not seen all of it. And I'd like him to be able to close that out. And we're going to start getting some pretty hefty road invoices. They're not going to, I confirmed with Mark, now these aren't, these are going to be after July 1st because it happens before then we got to crew it back into this fiscal year. And um, he said it's going to be after July 1st, but you know we would easily burn through the 44,000 and then Todd can close out that reporting and we can be done because I don't want to feel like we're under the gun. One, get it allocated by the end of the calendar year and then spend it by this Else have any? No, I'm just thinking on just for the roads, man. You, so, like, even next year, we know Youngman Road's going to meet up, hopefully, and that does something to help us. But we know Tamarack is not getting better. So, you thinking that, that those bells won't be till after July of next year, right? Correct. They would not, if anything we do for road contracts next year, um, we sign those in May. Would be good for would be starting the, yeah. the budget year. I mean, there was one, I think they did the gravel on one of the projects for this past fiscal year, and we had to accrue that back. So, I mean, I, the only reason I was saying that is because we know next year, Mark already told us that they're not going to have nearly the money to, mm -hmm. you know, to match it. So, well, yeah, and that's, that's something we're going to have to, and again, we can, you know, look into this more as the year goes on. We can amend our budget if we need to, but um, we need to start thinking in terms of what's our minimum fund balance we want to keep on hand and what does that tell us that we can spend and get it spent down and then what, you know, what do we need recurring operations and we and that's hopefully where Blaine can help too kind of helping to bring all that together I know she's working with a lot of townships on that and or you know putting putting setting aside money for hey you know what if the HVAC goes bad or something and we have we know what we want to keep back for those unexpected capital expenditures. So, but um, anyway, back to this. So, the um, dip into fund balance or the, the surplus deficit cumulative would be about sixteen thousand. And again, these are project. Um, well, this is uh, the fund balance beginning of year unrestricted fund balance as of July one. Once we close out our fiscal year, was about roughly about four hundred sixty. But that is an estimate because the bank statement's not yet reconciled and we don't have all of June in, so we're just guessing on what's left to come out. So, but yeah, it, you know, say these numbers came in perfect, we'd still be carrying well over 400,000 in fund balance. Any questions on that before we move into fire and hunting heights? These next two are a lot simpler. Um, so we've got the fire fund budget. It's a special revenue fund that we have to keep separate. Um, again, I want the assessor or somebody to check my work as far as this Headley rollback calculation I did. But um, based on that 115 million of taxable value um, with the uh, millage rate rolled back, projecting tax of about 112,000. Um, the actual tax we collected for this most recent collection period was 103,000. So again, it and um, it, it makes sense, I guess, that it would go up. But I would I would like some somebody to check that out before we officially um, do that one. A little bit of interest, and this is one that is is confusing because in my my mind, whatever we collect should be the expense. 
you can see for this current year, actual tax 103 expenses were 96,000. I think from what Todd and the auditor explained to me is there's a timing issue because of the way you know Todd is also, I believe, the treasurer of the fire district and he bills the township, but I think he's always a billing behind from when the tax revenue is being collected because it just, you know, you can see the beginning of the year fund balance. Last year we had um, a fund balance of 50,000, but then he bills it after the end of fiscal year. So I don't know if it's just the overlapping of the fiscal year that makes it hazy and eventually we get caught up at some point, but um, anyway, that's why we show this unrestricted fund balance, or restricted, I'm sorry, fund balance at the end of the year of roughly about 58,000. But um, I'm, I'm pretty sure he won't bill that 112, but you know, just to me it seems like it would be, but maybe we need to investigate that a little further. But So that's fire, any questions on that? And then the same kind of thing with the honeymoon heights, that's a special assessment versus a tax. And it's so much per lot, I think, that they pay for the street lighting. And um, the board usually votes each year um, that we're not going to raise that assessment. But we still do continue to build up some fund balance in there. Um, and the question is, you know, are there more street lights that could be put in? Could we spend this down, I guess? Cause sitting there you know they, they brought in eight grand on that special assessment and the bill was 6300 so cumulative you know not a whole whole lot of difference but over the years it builds up and uh, so we if all goes according to this budget we'd be at about 13,000 at the end of next fiscal year June 25 Legality of, of yeah. Yeah. I mean, to the cost. Yeah. I know. They would always be paying for yeah. it. Yeah. So, I'm saying that has to go directly towards lighting. Yeah. Is it just lights? I think so. But maybe it would be worth checking out and seeing what you could do. Maybe adding something out there or doing something. So, um, if there's no other questions on the budget proposal, um, the next steps, so tonight was to kind of just review what I had pulled together. Um, we will hold a public hearing um, on the budget on June 17th, which I will get, that has to be to the newspapers at least six days prior to the hearing, it has to be published in the newspaper six days prior, so I will get that taken care of. Um, and then in the meantime, is it just you, Marcy, that's doing any legwork research? Or yes, those are two items. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you can uh, get some of the suggestions together, we can, I, I can at least roll what we talked and kind of tentatively agreed okay. upon into these numbers and then um, maybe whatever you come have and yep, they can sure will. work that in and kind of fine tune it. But for as far as um, the public, I think we have to you know, have a draft available for public inspection at least at least at some point before the public hearing. So I will work on that is making sure that we have something. And again, we, we can fine tune it further at June 17th, but then you, you do have to get it adopted um, at that meeting. I think that's all I had. Anybody else have anything else on the budget? Real quick, I guess this is budget related, but anyways, because um, it will cost. <laughs> um, June 18th, so that's the day after our meeting, is the next Montcalm chapter of the MTA, and it's at uh, Crystal Township Hall. And the speaker is going to be Kristen Millard presenting info on new election laws. And if you want to go to the reservation, you need to let me know by June 13th. Um, by 
PPM. So it goes into space. Okay, I think that's it. Um, we'll do one more public comment before we do the event. Um, so just reiterating, you're talking about the board review gets paid sixty dollars for their organizational meetings. But you stated that the alternate would only get paid thirty dollars. I think your alternate is worth sixty dollars um, when you're budgeting that because it's still their time as well. Um, for your cemetery, you already had a proposal for dead trees coming out that I don't believe got taken out yet, and there are, there are a lot of dead trees. Something to think about. But in, in your budget to budget for those dead trees, there's also cemetery stones that are buried that have to be dug out and fixed. Um, but just something to think about for your budget there. Um, trustees, you haven't had a raise since I've been here in 2012. Um, I believe they do need a raise. I agree with that. Um, Marcy, last year, I believe, is the first year we started charging for splits, and I believe you guys should talk about giving Marcy part of that because um, her time is valuable as well. And then my last question is, um, as far as the pension, how is it listed on your budget for the extra computation? How is it on your budget sheet? What is it listed as? On this? Yeah. On what we're looking at? It's going into salaries. No, from the previous year. It's been all over the place. It's been pension bonus. It's been pension deferred. It's been, uh, I, sent, I sent all that to the attorney. We're going to wait for her opinion. And once we get that back, uh, we'll bring that to the board and we'll make a decision. So in 2023 budget, on your line item, what is it listed as for 2023? 2023 budget line item. I don't have it in front of me. I'm going to have to okay. look at it. I will need that for my lawyer. Thank you. Anybody else? I was also going to mention <clears throat> the land splits. That Marcy's doing perhaps because trustees positions aren't equal so to get you know what I'm saying different trustees have more responsibility and with your land splits I think that the idea of giving the some of the fee or even a stipend per land split like zoning I believe still does that does it per I don't think they do oh, anymore I know Jim got paid per permit mm -hmm. that's what he got paid you know just something like that to separate out the trustees' positions. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point as far as the trustee typically should be equal. Right. Um, I'm going to talk then, to the MTA on that and just get their thoughts. Yeah. So. Anything else? Thank you. Anybody else? Is there a motion to adjourn? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.